This segment brought to you by Kansas Grain Sorghum, growers working together. Find out more at ksgrainsorghum.org. Was this day or night, this third this third time? It was, was in the morning, uh, 7th of November. I don't know what day of the week it was. Just south of the DMZ, northwest of a place called Kantian. And what were you guys doing? We were in a company size uh, sweep. It was the first combat action outside of the wire uh, during the siege of Kantian that lasted through September and October. And they finally decided that we had to go out and be aggressive. We'd been surrounded by 30,000 North Vietnamese soldiers. And um, we had a new lieutenant and a new captain, and the North Vietnamese baited the trap with three of their men showing themselves. And those of us who'd been in country for quite a while begged our lieutenant, don't do this, don't follow them. This is as old as Custer. But our new captain wanted the bodies because it Victory wasn't real estate, but war is a real estate business. But in Vietnam, they, they twisted it all up, and it was all about body count. We call it stacking meat. And he said, uh, you know, go get me their bodies. And the lieutenant was a wonderful guy. I, I liked him a lot, but he was just in. He just got there. Right. And we pursued the North Vietnamese, and... Um, myself and some of the other guys in the platoon that had been in country a long time, we, we fixed our bayonets. We knew it was going to be bad. And they maneuvered us. We were a flank platoon, and they maneuvered us off the flank to where we couldn't be supported by the other two platoons. Popped the ambush and tore us up. What, what did this look like? Are you in grass? Are you in jungle? Uh, jungle. We went from uh, going through hedgerows in, in a cleared area where we could see them, and that's mm -hmm. when they started showing themselves. Right. But by the time they popped the ambush, we were in jungle. So how many guys are with you at that point? I think we might have had 30 people by then. That was probably the biggest platoon we'd ever had. And that's not a full TO right. infantry platoon, but we had a lot of casualties. And... Uh, It was not a good day for for third platoon. So what was the result of that fight that day? Third platoon was destroyed. Uh, I don't know uh, how high the casualties were. I only know of the two men that were dragging me out um, and the two men that were dragging uh, my my grenadier Leonard Blair from Oklahoma City, outstanding Marine. He was the first one shot to pop the ambush. Uh, so I only know about the six of us. I'm sure that there were other guys that got out, but I don't I don't know. Buffalo Bill Cody earned his legendary title in Oakley. Bring the family and come celebrate Oakley's pioneering history and unique geography at two sites, the Buffalo Bill Cultural Center and the Fick Fossil Museum. Cody's statue marks his achievements and welcomes visitors to the Cultural Center. The Fick Fossil Museum houses world-class fossils and artifacts. You'll find Oakley at the hub of U.S. Highways 83 and 40 and I-70. Stop for the legend. Stay for the day. Discover Oakley.